Okay, this is my presentation about Marie Curie. Marie Curie. On November 7, 1867, Maria Sklodowska was born in Warsaw, Poland. Her father was a professor of mathematics and physics who sparked her interest in science. After she graduated from high school, she began working as a tutor and a governess, which is a teacher in a private household, to earn money so she could fulfill her dream of attending the Sorbonne, the university in Paris. In 1891, she moved to France and began studying at the Sorbonne, registering as Marie, the French version of her name. In only two years, she earned a degree in physics and went on to earn a second degree in mathematics in another year. She met Pierre Curie, a well-known and respected physicist in 1894, and they married the following year. Another French physicist, and Toynhan Beckrauer had recently discovered that a metal called uranium let off rays of energy that no one understood. Madame Curie decided to work with him and study these rays. Her research soon revealed that this energy, which she named radioactivity, came from within the atom itself. An atom is the smallest part of a simple chemical substance called an element. In 1898, her husband, Pierre, joined her in this research, and working with tons of uranium ore, they separated two new radioactive elements. They named these elements polonium, after Madame Curie's native Poland, and radium. Radium can be used to help take an x-ray. After the outbreak of World War I, Madame Curie helped set up x-ray machines and vans that could be taken out to help doctors treat the wounded. By 1903, Marie was able to separate enough radium to prove its existence, earning her a PhD. That same year, Dr. Beckrauer and the Curies were awarded the Nobel Prize for their discovery of radioactivity and radiation. The pioneering researcher, physicist, and chemist Marie Curie is my favorite scientist because she is the epitome of perseverance. Epitome means the perfect example of a particular quality and contributed to some of the most important fields of study in science, from modern physics to the treatment of cancer. Madame Curie was the first woman to be awarded a Nobel Prize along with her husband, Pierre, the most famous honor in science. Eventually, they won two Nobel Prizes. In 1906, Marie's husband Pierre was coming home with a pair of earrings he bought for her as a gift when he was hit by a horse and carriage and was killed. He was devastated and after some time off and grieving, Madame Curie took up his professorship at the Sorbonne, becoming the first woman ever to teach there. She carried on her research of radium and in 1911 she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for separating radium and its chemical properties. Madame Curie founded the Radium Institute in Paris in 1914 and served as its first director. This center where doctors use radiation to treat cancer and researchers study chemistry and biology was later renamed the Curie Institute. Although no one knew at the time, radiation can make people very ill. Both Pierre and Marie Curie suffered bad health effects from what is now known as radiation sickness. On July 4, 1934, Marie Curie died of leukemia, brought on by exposure to radiation during her work. But Marie's legacy continued. Marie Curie's daughter, who was born on September 12, 1897, had been taught by Marie all she knew about chemistry and physics. Irene then went on with her husband Frederick to research in the same field. And the two of them were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1935 for their discovery of artificial radioactivity. Irene died at the age of 58 from the same leukemia as her mother. Some of my favorite quotes of Marie Curie are have no fear of perfection, you will never reach it. And, we must have perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and this thing must be attained. The End